Have you wondered what it really means to have black cat energy? How some women have it and some women don't? And somehow you're going to attract a golden retriever man with this type of energy? It's all very confusing. But here's the thing. It does work. And I'm a man saying that. So on today's show, we're going to discuss exactly how you can have black cat energy energy and how the men respond to that in a way that will allow you to have them wrapped around your finger. Number one, you need to be elusive. This is going to sound strange. It's going to sound weird. If you haven't heard someone talk like this before, I want you to stop being so eager to tell men everything that you're thinking and feeling and especially not be so eager to tell men exactly what you desire. Give you an example of what I mean by being elusive. If a guy asks you what you want, out of a guy or what you're looking for in a guy, I want you to be vague. I know it makes no sense. I know you feel like it's counterproductive. I know that it's counterintuitive, but I want you to understand when you're vague and someone's interested in you, it forces them to do work in order to get those answers. If they want to know what you're looking for in a guy, they start thinking to themselves, well, you're not really telling me anything you're looking for in a guy, so I'm going to have to figure out what you're looking for in a guy by doing everything I think you would want in a guy, by better understanding you, by learning you. And just that fast, you've created a scenario in which he's thinking about you, he's thinking about your needs, he's thinking about your wants and desires, and in the process of him thinking about your wants and desires, his focus is on you and on you solely. You say something super vague. I like funny guys. I like nice guys. And let him continue to figure out what it is that you're actually seeking and let his interest motivate him to actually seek that out. I know this sounds very strange because you're like, well, if I'm building a relationship with someone, shouldn't I be telling them all about me? Shouldn't I be telling them everything I'm feeling? Shouldn't I be telling them? I want the feeling that you get when you think of a black cat to stay with you because that will help to guide you when you're thinking about how and why you should be making particular decisions. I want you to think about its elegance. I want you to think about its shiny black coat. I want you to think about the mystery involved. I'm talking about like a le like a panther, like a large black cat, not a small one, a large. The mystery involved in being such a large, mysterious figure that kind of lurks in the shadows and you feel like you saw it, but it wasn't there, but I see the eyes, but is that it? Because it'll help crystallize to you why this energy gets this specific type of golden retriever uh, response from the men. Because it forces the men who are truly interested in you and really actually want to pursue you, it puts them in a position where if I truly am that interested in you, I have to do things Take action to try to figure out what gets the best response from you. This is how you start turning the guys that you like into golden retrievers because they start thinking to themselves, how can I do more to impress you more? Being yourself is number two. Now, I know on the surface, this sounds pretty straightforward. Oh, be yourself. You should just be you. Everyone just be yourself, okay? What I mean by be yourself, there is a nat natural inclination that you have as a woman to serve your man. Nothing wrong with that, okay? There's no difference between serving your boyfriend or your husband and serving a random stranger that you just started dating. I want you to be more cautious of trying to make so many adjustments in you and your personality to fit the mold of what a guy wants from you. A black cat is to itself and involved in itself. It's not worried about other people and it's mysterious, which is why other people are worried about the black cat. When you're yourself and you're just you and you don't try to fit the mold and be what someone else, what a, specifically what another guy wants you to be, People will try to convince you that that's being difficult. People will try to convince you that you're, uh, you know, you're playing too hard to get. You're playing a game because you don't just want to capitulate and do exactly what he wants you to do or make the exact adjustment that he wants you to make. When you're being more of yourself, you actually let out the secure energy that people become attracted to. Because as you try to change and adjust and change and adjust and change and adjust to be more likable to the guy that you're dating, he only ends up liking you less. That's not black cat energy. Actually, you're the golden retriever in that, st in that sense. Number three, let's discuss letting go. You specifically need to let go of your desire to control people. This is going to sound strange to some of you. When you become attached to the idea that you want this relationship to work out, you're going to want to control him 
by turning him more into the guy that you're looking for because you want the guy that you're looking for to be him rather than identifying what you're already looking for and seeing if that person is him. Part of letting go is developing your black cat energy where you don't need people to be anything for you. However, you still know what it is you're looking for. And when you find that, that is where you will spend your time and your energy. If you do not find that, or in the process of you learning and growing in a relationship, you realize that this is not that, you then retract your energy. The most valuable thing that you have as a woman, especially when you're trying to embody this black cat energy, is your ability to give people more or take away more of your energy. That is your power. See, in that, you don't have to lift a finger. In that, you don't have to yell. In that, you don't even have to try to control people and force them to be something that they're not or that they don't even intend to be. See, because when people are interested in you, when people are fascinated by you, when people are chasing and pursuing you and chasing and pursuing your approval, the moment you withdraw yourself from people, that becomes everything that you need it to be to motivate someone, specifically a golden retriever in this case, to motivate a man to say, oh, you're, you're retreating from me, you're withdrawing from me, I need to know what I must do to fix that so that I can continue getting access to you and so that you don't continue to withdraw from me. And see, when it's like that, when you're in that scenario, when you have that type of approach and that type of dynamic, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to do anything except withdraw. Number four, I want you to begin observing. Listen to me. See, part of your security within yourself as the black cat is knowing what it is that you want and being patient enough to observe people in their truest form and see if they're in line with what you're looking for. You don't adjust what you're looking for for anyone. However, you don't freak out if someone that you meet is not what you're looking for. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're in a relationship with a guy and you know, hey, I'm really looking for a gentleman who will buy me flowers and and, and talk to me nice and take me out on fancy dinners. So, and in the process of that, you're, this guy uh, that you're on a date with, he goes, uh, you know, I just think, you know, bills should be paid 50-50. If anything, you know, if you're making more money or if I want to do something, you know, you should be paying even more bills and da 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 and you should be taking part of the household and you should go to work, but you should still come back home and cook and clean and all that good stuff. Instead of freaking out on people and being, you're so wrong. I can't believe you would do that. I can't believe you would say that. You're, this is not how you treat a woman. You just allow it to be. And if he's in your life, your life is good. If he's not in your life, life is still good and so it doesn't really matter what he thinks or what he feels if it's not in line with what you're looking for and number five you need to do a deep dive within yourself to figure out what it is that you're about you enjoy what your life is outside of the boy what i mean by that is if your entire life becomes his approval and whether or not your relationship is going well and whether or not he likes you today you will be so out of whack on a daily basis, it's unreal. See, because when your whole life becomes the relationship or your whole life becomes the guy, anything small that makes you feel like this relationship isn't going exactly how you want it to go will, will just throw you for a loop and you'll start spiraling. And the men subsequently become less and less and less attracted to you when you start embodying that. And the feeling that you get, that you get or you think of when you think of a black cat a mysterious cat tell you guys to be focused on your perception because your perception will drast will drastically control how people approach you and how or if people value you other people are going to tell you that that's toxic to be mysterious on purpose or it's toxic to try to be elusive on purpose or it's toxic to be vague and 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 give people anxiety because they want to chase and pursue after you but at the end of the day no matter how toxic it is You'll have those guys wrapped around your finger and those girls thinking that they're too big and above it to do that. Those girls will be searching for answers desperately, trying to figure out why the men that they like are looking at you and trying to be with you. 